Astronomers have accurately measured the size of the remote dwarf planet Eris for the first time. They caught it as it passed in front of a faint star, using the Belgian TRAPPIST telescope at ESO's La Silla Observatory, along with two other telescopes in Chile. The new observations show that Eris is an almost perfect twin of Pluto in size. Eris also seems to be extremely reflective, probably because it is covered in a thin layer of frozen atmosphere. This is the ESOcast, cutting-edge science and life behind the scenes of ESO, the European Southern Observatory. Exploring the ultimate frontier with our host Dr. J, aka Dr. Joe Liske. In this episode, we're going to look at new observations of the distant dwarf planet Eris as it passed in front of a background star, an event called an occultation, and what these results have revealed. Occultations are rather like eclipses. The background star disappears behind the object and reappears on its other side. As viewed from Earth, the brightness of the background star suddenly drops and then returns equally suddenly to its previous level. By looking at these two events, astronomers can measure the size and shape of the occulting foreground object. If they also know the mass of this object, they can then determine its density. Occultations of stars by distant objects in the solar system are very hard to observe because of the small size of the objects. But occultations are often the only way to learn about these remote specks, as they are too distant and too small to be seen as anything more than faint points of light, even through powerful telescopes. The occultation technique has now enabled astronomers to learn a lot more about the dwarf planet Eris. Eris was identified as a large object in the outer solar system in 2005. Its discovery was one of the factors that led to the creation of a new class of objects called dwarf planets and the reclassification of Pluto from planet to dwarf planet in 2006. Eris is three times farther from the Sun than Pluto at the moment and until now was believed to be about 25% bigger. But the new observations show that Eris is in fact almost exactly the same size as Pluto with a diameter of around 2,330 kilometers. Because Eris also has a moon, called Dysnomia, astronomers have also been able to calculate the mass of Eris by a careful study of this moon's orbit. Using the new diameter and... I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. They've got the flag up now and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar Flag up now. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. You're going to have to be able to do now. 